back to the Susan Boyle story. Now, it's every performer's dream to conquer America, the ultimate land of opportunity and the hardest to crack. For Susan, who'd never even been there, it seemed like a dream too far. But how wrong was she? We love you, Susan! Oh, <laughs> Susan Boyle hitting America was literally like a hurricane. The nearest thing to the Beatles mania of the 60s returning to America. It was unbelievable. And it's the whole American dream thing as well. They applaud success here. So we thought there'd be a couple of people, you know, taking a picture when she arrived. And then I saw the picture. Yeah. Yeah. How amazing was that on a scale one to ten? What did they use to that kind of research? I was blown away. It's a bit surreal, doesn't it? I mean, one minute you're in the kitchen, second, the next minute you're in America. I mean, <laughs> it does seem a bit fuddle-bindish. The warmth was just unbelievable. I mean, it's just so good to be there. It's triumph over adversity. It's, it's the underdog coming out on top. and it, it's, it's a Hollywood movie. It's a Hollywood script, this. That, that, hey. Get, get it down. Write it down. The amount of fan mail I get is phenomenal. And that means I'm, I'm not a lot to me because, uh, well, being a performer is very important. And some of the letters are very, very touching. This is for you. Look. This has the 163. That's nice. Susan Boyle makes me feel wonderful. She is, to me, what life is all about, or what life should be about. It's a little bit of, like an addiction, but it's a great addiction. It really brightens up my life. She's brought happiness into my life. I think Susan means there's, there's no time limit on your dreams. As long as you can dream them, you can do them. So don't give up. Keep trying. read that when you were growing up as a little girl, one of your idols was Donny Osmond? I was daft about the Osmonds, everybody was, you know, especially Donny. Hello, Susan Boyle. Hello, Donny. How are you? Has it sunk in yet that you are an international superstar? It hasn't really sunk in yet, though. It seems a bit unreal at the moment. I'm learning slowly. I'm learning slowly. Because you're too sweet. And innocent. Very nice. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so are you. Ooh. It was lovely to see her on, our, on America's Got Talent. It was really a really proud moment for us just to see her on there doing that song. Um, yeah, and she blew them away. Now, this is the biggest summer show in America. When she walked out, I couldn't believe it. The audience went up as one, cheering, screaming. And in the middle of it, Susan. I thought we are now seeing the blooming of this woman from talent show contestant with a great voice to a genuine world star. America, give it up one more time for Susan Boyle. I think yes, she could yes. become, or will become, the biggest selling recording artist this year. And I'm talking about around the world. That is the significance 
of Susan Boyle right now. And it's all about her. Even by your standards, the last two weeks have been crazy, haven't they? Did you ever think it could come to this? Well, I'll say they would be no, because it was totally unexpected. All I want to do at this stage is to uh, thank everyone here for their support. But Susan, you sang about dreaming a dream, and I think it's fair to say you've now realised that dream. And I think to celebrate that, we'd like to give you a little, a little treat, a little, a little surprise for you, which is that every artist in history... <laughs> ..in recognition of your astonishing achievement in selling over a million records, the triple platinum record, very few artists in history have done this, Susan Boyle, you dreamed a dream. This is the dream come true. Congratulations. Congratulations. Take it. When we come back, Susan will perform the song that made her a star and sing with some remarkable special guests. Coming back soon. <laughs>